Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with Adikio software. To start, let's double click on the desktop shortcut icon. The Adikio software opens. At first launch, Adikio software requires activating your license. Select print a license and click activate license. Your printer will be used to register your license on your computer using an internet connection. If you don't have access to the internet right now, you'll have 30 days to activate your license. Next, a guided tour video launches. It explains how the software works. Let's skip the video for now. Adikio works around product categories and item lists. The new category wizard, which launches now, will help you create your first category. Let's start by selecting an item category from the category selection window. Cheesemongers, for instance, and click Next. Then, let's choose one or several tag layouts for our item category using the filters located on the left and the layout previews which show the main fields available on the layouts. And click Next. Finally, as data type, Let's select the sample item list and click Finish. Now that we've created our first product category, the main view appears. Let's select our Cheesemongers category from the category navigation area. Select the desired record and double click on any product information to edit it directly from the list. Note that you can add or delete items using the plus and trash bin buttons located at the bottom. Use the preview to check that your tag is ready to print and click the print button. The print options open. The first time you use the software, select your Adikio printer from the list and click print. Let's now take a look at the settings view by clicking on the settings icon located at the top right of the screen. The settings view allows customising categories. This window works like the wizard. The first tab is related to the category properties. The second tab allows you to add, preview and customise layouts for this category. And the third tab to set up the source of your data and the item list columns for this category. From the settings window, you can create a new category manually using the plus button or relaunch the new category wizard using the red button.